Getting started with TDS-1000B and 2000B Digital Phosphor Oscilloscope Series, Tektronics. Welcome to this training module on Tektronics Getting Started with the TDS-1000B and TDS-2000B Digital Phosphor Oscilloscope Series. This training module introduces the key features of the TDS-1000B and TDS-2000B oscilloscope and its basic operations. The TDS-1000B and TDS-2000B series digital storage oscilloscopes deliver an unbeatable combination of performance and ease of use. They provide accurate real-time acquisition up to their full bandwidth, the same record length at all time-based settings, advanced triggers to isolate signals of interest, and 11 standard automatic measurements on all models. Built-in waveform math functions and fast Fourier transform allow to analyze, characterize, and troubleshoot circuits. The simple user interface with classic analog style controls makes these instruments easy to use. Innovative features such as the auto set menu, probe check wizard, context sensitive help menu, and color LCD in the TDS-2000B series model optimize instrument setup and operation. With USB host and device ports, the oscilloscopes enable removable data storage, seamless PC connectivity, and direct printing. The front panel is divided into easy-to-use functional areas. Four channels with Tektronix's unique digital real-time sampling technology allows to capture high-frequency, non-repetitive information such as glitches and edge anomalies. USB host port enables conveniently use of USB flash drives to store personal oscilloscope setups, screenshots, and waveform data for later use quickly capture the events of interest with the advanced triggers including pulse width and line selectable video triggers. Fast Fourier transform and waveform add, subtract, and multiply math functions come standard on all models. Simplify setup with smart auto set function which identifies the type of waveform, adjusts controls to produce a usable display of the input signal, and allows to select how the waveform should be presented. The most frequently used functions are brought forth to the panel for direct accessibility. Probe Check Wizard helps to quickly verify that the probe is calibrated and operating properly. The USB device port enables easy communications with other instruments, peripherals, or systems via USB or GPIB. It also allows full programmable control for automated measurements and remote display and archiving. The compact 124.2 millimeter depth can free up valuable space on a bench or desktop. The integrated handle allows the user to easily carry the portable instrument into the field. Integrated security loops and Kensington locks can secure the oscilloscope in place. Security slots connect to Kensington locks or allow cable a cable to pass through. When operating the oscilloscope, the user may need to be familiar with several functions, including auto set, auto range, saving a setup, and recalling a setup. The auto set function obtains a stable waveform display. It automatically adjusts the vertical scale, horizontal scale, and trigger settings. Auto set also displays several automatic measurements in the graticule area depending on the signal type. The auto range function adjusts setup values to track a signal when the signal exhibits large changes or when the probe is physically moved to a different point. 
The oscilloscope can save the current setup if the user waits 5 seconds after the last change before it is powered off. The oscilloscope can recall the last setup before the oscilloscope was powered off, any saved setups, or the default setup. Push the Default Setup button causes the user to recall the default setup, which is done in the factory. The trigger determines when the oscilloscope starts to acquire data and to display a waveform. When a trigger is set up properly, the oscilloscope converts unstable displays or blank screens into meaningful waveforms. The trigger source options can be used to select the signal that the oscilloscope uses as a trigger. The source can be AC power line, available only with edge triggers, or any signal connected to a channel B and C or to the external trig B and C. The oscilloscope provides three types of triggers, edge, video, and pulse width. When users acquire a signal, the oscilloscope converts into a digital form and displays the waveform. The acquisition mode defines how the signal is digitized and the time base settings affect the time span and level of detail in the acquisition. There are three acquisition modes, sample, peak detect, and average. In sample acquisition mode, the oscilloscope samples the signal in evenly spaced intervals to construct the waveform. This mode accurately represents signals most of the time. In peak detect acquisition mode, the oscilloscope finds the highest and lowest values of the input signal over each sample interval and uses these values to display the waveform. In average acquisition mode, the oscilloscope acquires several waveforms averages them, and displays the resulting waveform. The display of waveforms can be changed by adjusting the scale and position. When the user changes the scale, the waveform display will increase or decrease in size. When the user changes the position, the waveform will move up, down, right, or left. The channel indicator identifies each waveform on the display. The indicator points to the ground reference level of the waveform record. The oscilloscope display graphs a voltage versus time and can help to measure the displayed waveform. There are several ways to take measurements, the graticule, the cursors, and automatic measurement. Graticule method allows the user to make a quick visual estimate by counting the major and minor gradical divisions involved and multiplying by the scale factor. The cursor method allows uh, taking measurements by moving the cursors, which always appear in pairs, and reading their numeric values from the display readouts. When the user takes automatic measurements, the oscilloscope does all the calculating. Automatic measurements use readouts to show measurement results. The front of the oscilloscope has a USB flash drive port to accommodate a USB flash drive for file storage. The oscilloscope can save data to and retrieve data from the flash drive. The oscilloscope reads the internal structure of a USB flash drive each time you install a drive. The time to complete the read depends on the size of the flash drive, how the drive is formatted, and the number of files stored on the drive. The USB host port also can be used to save and recall waveform data or setup data, or save a screen image, print a screen image, transfer waveform data, setup data, or screen an image to a PC, and control the waveform with remote commands. A USB cable can be used to connect the oscilloscope to a PC or to a PicBridge compatible printer. 
The USB device port is on the rear of the oscilloscope, but before the user connects the oscilloscope to a PC, he must install the PC communication software from the CD that came with the oscilloscope. Here lists a few steps to connect the oscilloscopes to the PC. When you connect the oscilloscope to a PicBridge compatible printer, the oscilloscope and printer can be powered on or off. To connect the oscilloscope to a PicBridge compatible printer, follow these steps as shown. The TDS-1000B and 2000B series digital storage oscilloscopes deliver an unbeatable combination of performance and ease of use. They provide accurate real-time acquisition up to their full bandwidth, the same record length at all time-based settings, and advanced triggers to isolate signals of interest. The simple user interface with classic analog style controls makes these instruments easy to use. With USB host and device ports which enable removable data storage, seamless PC connectivity, and direct printing, they offer much flexibility and ease of data transfer.